Hi, in this video we're going to look in more detail at uh, the logistic functions of this equation as opposed to the first video which we looked at the uh, distributions of uh, player skills. So similarly we're going to go to the Desmos tool again and this time we're going to look uh, in more detail at this uh, logistic function. Uh, we did use it in here but we didn't talk about it too much and we didn't have any graphs to visualize it. It was just computing a uh, scalar value. So now we'll actually look at how this uh, slides up and down this curve, which, which is helpful. So we have a, a parameter B for the base um, uh, of the exponent, and we have uh, this generic equation here, which is the red line, so we can um, see the curve and uh, how it changes based on the base. You know, sometimes this is uh, the natural log, other times it's 10, um, and stuff like that. Uh, we have two different values one that actually uses uh, D over C, which is uh, what the actual ELO system uses. And then we have one that's a little bit simpler to visualize um, without, without concerning ourselves with uh, how C is affecting uh, the difference. So uh, how we have D and D2 here, we have different um, computations for them here. We see D and D2. Um, and remember this D is the one that involves uh, C and so we can represent uh, this is uh, the rating for player A and the rating for player B. Uh, that's what these A and B is for. So, um, so we have two sets. So we assume if uh, player, a, player A and player B are the same, uh, similar in the last video, the probability is exactly 0.5. And if player E gets uh, better, the probability slowly goes up um, into nearest one. And uh, the same way for this one. Uh, this is the second D. So we have a, a similar A and B, but I guess these are actually switched. So I want A on top to keep it consistent. So as A gets better, the probability increases. So you can see the um, distance down here is 1.7. We can see, so as the distance between the uh, ratings, uh, um, not the distance, the difference is zero, the probability is 0.5, and as the distance increases, uh, the probability increases. So when you see the, the difference is about one, um, the probability is, uh, where is it, uh, uh, about 90%, and then when you increase it to about uh, five, you know, it's almost 100. And so now we know what the ranges we need to shoot for and how this affects um, this parameter here, which was the, should be the scale factor, right? So in order to get uh, a range of a difference of one and five after it's divided by 400, we have to actually have uh, ratings that are in that range. So it's gonna have a rating of 1900 and you know, maybe this is, goes all the way up to 2500. And you know the difference between 20, 600 and 1900 divided by 400 eventually equals the one in five we saw before. All right. So that's an overview of how the changes in the rating system get a probability. So it's nice that we can see the actual values here.